what's up everyone and welcome to a new rust building video before the video starts i want to quickly mention we are 42 subscribers away from hitting 500 subs it's been a long journey and you guys are making it happen so thank you all so much if you've watched this video and you found it helpful or you learned one thing or two please consider subscribing leave a like on the video leave a comment down below it doesn't only help the video but it helps my channel grow as well also i apologize for not uploading rust solo gameplay my girlfriend bought rust a couple days ago and i'm sat here teaching her how to play the game once i'm done i'll be back with the solo videos that's it for me the following is a footage of me teaching someone on a build server how to add china walls to any base design i assume the questions that he asked and the stuff that i explained are enough for you to understand and figure out how to add china walls to your own base design please stick till the end and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section onto the video okay you is my stream yeah you can what you watching yes okay uh let me show you first some examples maybe this is something i did the the one you saw i did it like uh two hours or one hour ago this is just a three by three with a honeycomb okay but look how scary it looks from the from the outside <laughs> like this is this thing is this food This footprint with China walls. That's it. That's what I did. <laughs> okay, so why China walls? Well, first you won't add these walls to this base because that looks ridiculous. You, this was just a concept I was just working on. Okay. So, why China walls? First. This wall is 8 rockets, a high external wall is 4 rockets, so your compound is 8 rockets to beach. You have windows all the way around to shoot at people outside, you can have windows inside as well, or maybe just half full. And you can shoot at people inside, you know. You have this thing that you can get inside and outside the base from, you have peak downs in it, you have everything. Well, you can build peak downs here as well, but I just didn't bother doing it because it was just testing. You have these furnace rooms. These are not necessary, but of course they are something cool to look at and do. You can have turrets all the way around here. And this would help a lot. This is something that a raider won't expect. Well, if someone knows how to deal with the china wall he knows that this thing is full of turrets and you can add as much turrets as you want one more thing is that this this thing has a tool cupboard and every layer has its own tool cupboard you have five tool cupboards here probably add four more each on every corner but well, this is too close this is not too close okay tool cupboard tool cupboard tool cupboard tool cupboard and you have insane privilege around your base sometimes you can just add bedrooms like just have one square here or anything like triangles have bedrooms you can improvise on this this is a concept you need to take and improvise on because if i'm sat here just designing the wall this would take me like hours <laughs> so can, I, I'll, I'll show you something, a, a china wall that I built to do a, some cinematics on. And I think this thing would explain a lot. There's no main base in the middle, but there's just the walls. There's six towers. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. Each tower has its own tool cupboard. So this, this wall is six tool cupboards. And that's a lot of privilege alongside the main base, which will have its own main tool cupboard. That's seven tool cupboards. Now this tower, I built it three floors. You need to add one more or two more at least. 
you have bedrooms maybe bedrooms more than shooting floor and the roof let's say you're in this tower and someone breached on that tower and there's a main base in front of you blocking the vision open this door you can have either windows or half walls here whatever you want open this door come to this tower and you can see the breach open this door you can see the breach jump on that tower you can see the breach like the amount of angles that you can you can peek from is just ridiculous you know go on top you can see the breach you can see uh, pretty much everything around your base so that's for the walls can you add those to any base yes you can add it to any base do you have a footprint in mind or, or do i just give you one of mine like do i just show you something any footprint okay i'll do it on a two by one i never did it done a freaking china wall on two by one but i think that this should be easy okay i'm gonna leave the main footprint so keep in mind this china wall is for the two by one honeycomb footprint so if you have like something like this you know you'll just need to find the layer of that footprint this is the honeycomb this is the layer of china walls for the honeycomb two by one so i'm gonna do this with stone fuck's sake b grade two let me fill these gaps okay we have three triangles here and we have one triangle let's add two more two more can we add a square on every side yes i can already see the china wall footprint <laughs> no this is scuffed how about this yeah this works why not triangle because i want something straight like this curve is good but this curve this curve is not good you see on that side it's straight on this side where i build the triangle it's curved i don't want this curve this curve is not good so i want something straight to be able to add to have four tool cupboards for this two by one so i'm gonna build this with sheet metal now yeah this should be easy triangles triangles the triangle work no this is scuffed as well oh yeah that's it that's that's the china wall layer of the two by one Now anything in stone needs to be removed. And that's your china wall layer. Now keep in mind this thing, all of those are connected to one tool cupboard. So if I place these walls and the honeycomb, these are all connected to this tool cupboard. So if you can, if I turn this to wood, you'll see wood pop up here. If I turn, this is quick and then i place my walls around you see wood pop up this is a big problem because once you build your walls and your main base etc you'll have insane freaking upkeep right you can solve this by just simply wall stacking each layer like let's say this square go out eight Oh, I think I did it wrong. I went fine. <laughs> okay, so this is the 8th foundation. Demolish the 7 rest. 1. Two, three, four. Place a square. 
Now this layer is separated from those three and the main base. So this layer has its own tool cupboard. These are all connected to the main tool cupboard. We'll repeat this step, eight foundations out and everything on each side. I'm gonna use a command on Builder Sanctuary which skips this eight out, four half moons in. Just place a foundation. And continue the footprint. Do it again. One more time. Oops. And now each layer has its own tool cupboard. So if I go from this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, place a tool cupboard. I think we can do it on five. You can place it on five. One, two, three, four, five, six, tool cupboard. One, two, three, four, five, six, tool cupboard. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, tool cupboard. And you can see now there's five tool cupboards in this two by one. Well, okay, let's say you want this. Like, this is the multi TC layer of your main base. Like, this is your main base. You have something around this spot. Okay. And you want a china wall for this layer. Let's say I went one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, oops, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three, four. Now because this is two foundations, I need to add one on the right side. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I think if we remove one here, there's two triangles, and two, yeah, this works. So three, then four. Now one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Two triangles, two triangles. Yeah, this works. So just complete this pattern and you have China walls all around. One, two, three, two triangles. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, two triangles. One, two, three, four. Two triangles, two triangles. <laughs> and that's the China wall of this layer it's not that easy but once you get used to it it's, it becomes easier you want, you want me to show you the footprint that i figured out for that 3x3 i was just messing around by the way i never built a china wall for a 3x3 as well okay so honeycomb 3x3 honeycomb 3x3 I'm gonna skip the part where I just fill the foundations, etc. I'm gonna show you directly what was in mind. I'm gonna tell you what was in my mind and how I figured it out. So I'm in the middle foundation, okay? I want something that goes this way, this way, this way, and this way. But at the same time, I want them all symmetrical to like this center. So I found out that if I place this thing, place a foundation it's facing the middle I can repeat this step on all sides and have four square foundations symmetrical to each other I'm gonna use symmetry I assume you know what symmetry is I'm gonna use S wait I think I can link it with the thingy here four uh, is it working yes so one two four and then this triangle demolish those unnecessary triangles and if i stand in the middle you see this line there's one going there one going there going there and one going to the south now as i mentioned before this thing is 
connected to the main base like this is connected to the main base so from this foundation go eight out place this foundation and now those four new foundations have their own tool cupboard okay let me go out let's say six one two three four five six place a tool cupboard on each side need one more here okay so now we have all our tool cupboards ready so let's say i go one two three four okay one two three four this thing then one two three four and this thing you'll notice that there's a huge gap in this thing i found an easy solution for this it didn't take me too long because i kind of know what i'm doing one two three angles then go out four one two three four the two triangles facing the inside repeat the step two triangles out not in it works if you like do those in but um, i prefer having that thing bigger like facing outwards you know so that you have more space in inside your base one two three four two triangles and you'll notice that there's a small gap between all of them here small gap small gap small gap and then i just build up what you can do in this thing is maybe add this you know have beds in this and then once you build up you can have something fancy like maybe this 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 those you know or maybe you can uh, do whatever you want with it you have four these four main towers and the rest are just shooting floors you can have bedrooms and you can have four more towers actually My internet is cheating, sorry. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You can have these towers two on each layer. So two, four, six, eight towers. You can have beds in here, whatever you want, then the way to your shooting floor, you know? Circular bases. Circular bases are probably the most complicated ones because, well, symmetry got turned off. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's say this is your base design. Okay, and you want to build the China walls for this footprint. okay before i toggle symmetry what i have in mind is that i need six outs okay that are symmetric symmetrical to each other like this is symmetrical to this one to this one same with the foundations but i don't want the foundations because i mean when once you try it once you try it and you try going out from the foundations you'll figure out why I prefer the triangles and the circular bases to go out from because they give you much more flexibility to work with. So I'm gonna stand in the middle, I'm gonna toggle symmetry 6 on, so whatever I do once gets repeated 6 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I'm gonna demolish everything here. From this 8th one, I'm gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Demolish the seven I placed. Come back with half moons.
and now we have the six parts wall stack okay one two three four five six and the triangle and you'll see this thing so one two three four five six Yeah, it was fast because I I did it a lot. I know how to do it a lot. Like, let me add something to this footprint. Yeah, this is six tool cupboards. Yes, six. Yeah, six tool cupboards. Okay, let's add honeycomb to this, and then probably this thing. Okay, now since there's two triangles, I want to go out from the foundation. I draw this okay this is something I want to have okay you see these things are a bit scuffed but you can build from the triangles you can build from this foundations it doesn't really matter but I want this one one two three triangles I want this one in the middle now I'm gonna build this thing one two three four five six seven eight it doesn't really need to be eight you can just go out from the second one wall stack it and then start going out but the reason why i'm going eight because i i'm gonna place the tool cupboard after i wall stack you know one two three four five six seven eight Now on this spot you need to place your tool cupboard six times of course. One time here, this is two, this is three, this is four, of course we have a main tool cupboard, this is five and this is six. From this one you can go in and then from these sides you can just now I don't know why is this getting scuffed oh okay wait I probably yeah I think I know what's Okay, I think I know what's that the lol. <laughs> I should go from this. Yeah, I'm my fault. Sorry. <laughs> six. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the last one is wall stack. Demolish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now from this one, let's try and go Yeah That's it <laughs> Yeah, it was just my bad Because I told you before that I want one out that is symmetrical I chose this one, this one was not very good I, should, I would have probably went out with triangles But this is like so hard to do when you do it with triangles so from the foundations i went out eight placed one wall stacked it and came back with the rest and i have china walls all around with six tool cupboards and the main one being the seventh and that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you learned one thing or two at least and thank you so much for watching if you made it till the end and I'll see you in the next one.